today I'm going to be talking about Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk collection. Now the only thing I didn't buy was the blush and that's only because I don't really need that blush. I don't think I'll wear it because it's more of a pinky type shade even though it feels like it has a little bit of a peach tone to it. It's definitely more pink. I don't typically grab and reach for pink blush so I skipped the blush but I did buy the palette. Here she is. Here is the palette and the Pillow Talk palette retails for $53. I also have the Superstar Lips in the shade Pillow Talk, and I also have the Matte Revolution Lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. These two lippies each retail for $34, so I have both of these options for you guys, and I give you guys my opinion on each of these lipsticks and which ones I prefer. You can buy these on the Charlotte Tilbury website, or you can buy them on Sephora.com. Now, this particular lipstick formula, the Superstar formula, is not sold at Sephora. I couldn't find it on their website anyway, but because I did order this from the Charlotte Tilbury website, and this one is now for sale on the Sephora website. Now, this launched several months back. I want to say like five months ago, six months ago, but they sold out, and it took them a while to come back into stock, and they finally came back into stock, and as you guys know, I just did a video using the Exaggerize palette. I actually followed one of Charlotte Tilbury's makeup tutorials. I will link that video right up here in the corner but this was a really beautiful palette and I love this palette it's one of my favorite palettes from Charlotte Tilbury I have the stars in your eyes I have a few of these quads I'm gonna be buying more because I do really love her quads so we're gonna head straight into the tutorial and I'm gonna show you guys how I created this look with the eyeshadow palette I have some good things to say about this palette and some negative things to say so you know I from a reviewing perspective I want to give you guys as much information as I possibly can when it comes to my opinion on a palette especially when it's $53 for four eyeshadows is very expensive. She's very expensive. I do have a lot to say, good and bad, so without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, let's get playing with this palette. It's beautiful, you guys. It is a really, really pretty palette. The only thing that I'm concerned with is the shades are not very dark. What I mean by that is I have the Exaggerize palette and I really love this one. Like this one is all one of my favorites. I also love the Dolce Vita. Oh, so good. But as you notice, like yeah, it has a shimmer shade up here, but this is a deep enough color that you can really build and you know you can keep putting it on and keep putting it on and you can build depth within that shade. So that's the one thing that I really, really love about this palette. But this one, I don't know how I feel about this shade. I feel like it should be a tad bit darker just so that I can have that building shade. But you know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna play with it. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. I'm gonna be using the Sonia G Pro Eye Set. These are back into stock. Praise you, Sonia G and Beautylish. These are available at Beautylish. I will leave the link in the description box down below. Now I'm testing out a concealer hack right now, and I don't feel like it's going very well. <laughs> Just because you can see every single solitary wrinkle under my eye, and it's kind of driving me nuts. Uh, that video is coming very, very soon. Be very patient. I've been testing several concealer hacks, like several, and trying to find that perfect hack to set the under eye without it looking cakey and gross. Okay, so for my eyes, I have went ahead and set my eyes with the P. Louise eyeshadow base. I'm going to go in with this light shade right here, the first shade in the palette. And I'm going to go in with this tiny little brush from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collection. This is the JH42. And I'm going to pop this right there on my brow, like right below that arch area. And this is what it's looking like dry. So I am using this dry. And I'm going to go into that shade and pop some right here on the inner corner. just to give me a little bit of that highlight. Okay, so first I'm gonna go in with the Builder Pro, this one right here. I'm gonna go into this lighter pink shade right up here. And I'm just gonna start kind of packing this on my outer corner and try to build up some dimension.
that shade is not very pigmented like it's pigmented but I think it's just because it's so light that it's just kind of hard to get it to show up but it's building good but I wish it was just a tad bit darker so let's go into the darker shade right below it and when I mean dark I mean darker than that shade shade is not coming to life like it that's what I was worried about I've heard so many people love this palette and so I'm like kind of curious like why I'm not getting much pigment is it my palette I don't know I'm gonna go in with the crease pro and I'm gonna go into that darker shade on the bottom and try to like build that shade on top of itself I'm starting to get that pigment, but this is definitely, these are shades that you really have to build. Like you really, really need to build it to get some pigment. Hmm. All right, um, I'm gonna go in with the Pencil Pro and I'm gonna go into the darker shade on the palette. And I'm gonna really try to build up this part right here because I just, I feel like I put it on and then it blends away. And I feel like I go back in and I put it on and it blends away. And so that's the thing that I'm struggling with. This is definitely a palette, automatically I can already tell, this is a palette that I really cannot use on its own. Like I need more shades with it, like I need some depth. Let's go ahead and put something on the lid, like this part right here. I'm gonna actually use my felt tip applicator and I am going to dampen it with my makeup wipe. And I'm gonna go into this shade right here. That shade is really pretty. It's kind of like a peachy gold. It's really, really pretty. Like I really like that shimmer shade. It's not really shimmer, it's kind of more of like a glittery topper shade, but damn, it's pretty, you guys. I might have to fix my concealer after this, but. You do definitely get a little bit of fallout with that glitter shade, but my gosh, that glitter shade is so pretty. I'm gonna really coat some here and I'm gonna spray it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want that really, really glittery impact. I recommend wetting it. That shade is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Like, wow, it's pretty. Ooh, she is pretty. I'm gonna go on the other side of the applicator and I'm gonna go into that first shade that we put up here on the brow bone. And I'm gonna pop it right here in the inner corner. Just to kind of blend that shade into that glittery look. Okay, so Next, I'm gonna go and just kind of smudge out my lower lash line. I'm gonna take this brush from Sigma. This is the exact blend, this is the E32 brush. And I'm gonna go into the lighter matte, the one that is the, like the really light pink, the one on the top row, and I'm gonna pop this under here. Then I'm gonna go into the darker on the bottom row. Kind of smudge that in. Okay, I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go into that darker shade on the bottom row and just like pack this. And just really try to pack this shade because I need just a little bit of definition there on the outer corner that I'm just not getting it. That's pretty much as far as you can take that shade. It doesn't like to build on top of itself and you're not gonna, you're not gonna build any kind of depth with it. So that's definitely, in my opinion, kind of a negative. It's really pretty though and it's definitely kind of light and springy 
for the springtime. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye, throw some lashes on, I will come back and we will put on the lippy and I will give you guys my final thoughts. So I will be right back. Okay, so I am back and you guys, I had to go into my Exact Eyes palette and grab this light shade to put on the inner corner because I do not like this pink shade in my inner corner. It's just too pink and I felt like it looked like pink eyeshadow. And if I'm gonna wear an inner corner highlight, I want it to be a brightening inner corner highlight. That's me personally. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. And this is the perfect nude lip liner, especially if you're somebody that wants to kind of contour the lip and make them appear a little bit larger. You can use this to kind of draw a little bit outside the lines and still not have it look funky, you know what I mean? And I like this. I have two Pillow Talk lippies here. I have in two different forms. This is the Legendary Lips, I believe. I will put it at the bottom. And I love this formula, but you guys, it's so expensive. You don't get that much product. I mean, don't get me wrong, mine's half gone. But this is more of a glossier type filling. The shade is absolutely gorgeous and I love this. I keep this in my purse for those times where I need some, you know, something to pop on my lip really fast, but it's kind of expensive for what it is. And I don't use it all the time because I feel like I'm going to run through it way too quickly. And so even though I love this, I feel like it's just way overpriced because it's such a glossy type formula like you got to reapply it quite frequently so this is like something that i wear on a special occasion this one is the matte uh this is the matte revolution lipstick and this is also in the shade pillow talk so that's what that shade looks like it's i mean it's really pretty you guys and I love this shade. It is probably one of my favorite shades that I have here from Charlotte Tilbury. And let me go through them for you really quick. So I have um, Walk of Shame, which I just recently got this from Sephora. I actually got this using 600 of my Sephora points. Can you believe that? I was shocked. So this is what Walk of Shame looks like. And oh, it's so pretty. It actually matches my shirt like perfectly but it is so pretty. I'm so glad that I got this for free. Man, I love that shade. And I really like the Matte Revolution formula. It goes on matte. It stays forever though. That's the thing. Oh my gosh, it lasts so long. So I also have it in the shade Secret Selma. This one has more of like a pinkier mauve type tone, but this one's really pretty too. This one's also in the Matte Revolution. And then I have it in this. This is in the Kissing Style uh, lipstick. And so it has, the, the how you can tell the difference between the Matte Revolution and the Kissing Style. The Kissing Style comes in that typical lipstick kind of end to it, you know, the point at the top. The Matte Revolutions have a square top. So as you can see, this one's a square top. And this one is more of your traditional lipstick top. And this one is in the shade America's Sweetheart. This one right here is America's Sweetheart. And let me just say, America's Sweetheart and uh, Pillow Talk are very, very similar. So the difference between the Kissing Formula and the Matte Formula, the Matte Revolution is that exactly what it is. So the Matte Revolution lipsticks are more matte and the Kissing Formula is more of a satin finish. So this one is, I brought it down here so you could see what that looks like next to Pillow Talk. So this one is Pillow Talk in the Matte Revolution, and this is America's Sweetheart in the Kissing Formula. So those are the lippies that I have, and don't get me wrong, they are all really, really pretty and very similar, but very different on the lip. So for this look, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Matte Revolution Pillow Talk. The thing that I like about this is how long wearing it is. It's so long wearing. These are so pretty. Like I'm obsessed with the matte formula. I really, really like it. This one is so pretty. Like I love this. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this over top. These two together are absolutely beautiful. And in order for me to justify the price on this, that's now how I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it over top of the Matte Revolution and it kind of gives a little bit of that glossiness but I still get the long lasting powers from it. Now don't get me wrong, it doesn't last near as long as it would if the Matte Revolution was applied on its own but it still gives that lip just that really beautiful 
um, healthy, hydrated look. Like, there is, I mean, Charlotte Tilbury kills the lipstick formula. I just think they're so stupidly expensive. I mean, they're not Tom Ford expensive, but they're pretty pricey. So this is what the Pillow Talk palette looks like swatched, so you guys can see. This is a really, really light, light, light pink. And I don't like that shade on the inner corner. Although I do think it would be very beautiful on the lid, I do think it was a pretty lid shade. But this shade looks much darker swatched than it comes off on the eye. So, you know, that's the one thing that I would say kind of bothers me about the palette is that you really, really have to work hard to build up that darker shade, which is kind of a bummer, but it is a very beautiful palette. And I freaking love this peach shade. This peach shade I'll probably be using a lot during the summer because I love the way that peach shade looks on my eyes. Okay, so let me give you guys my final thoughts on this palette. So there's things that I like about this palette and there's things that I don't like. I have several palettes from Charlotte Tilbury. I have four of the little ones and then I have the large uh, Stars in Your Eyes palette. So I use these often, you guys. I am constantly, constantly using Charlotte Tilbury. And so I'm very familiar with, you know, the formula and I also love her shade selection. Like she really, really does a good job with bringing such beautiful shades together and creating such gorgeous eyeshadow palettes. With that said, there's things that I like and there's things that I don't. Let me get into the things that I don't like about it. We'll just get them out of the way. As you guys seen in the tutorial, I feel like this shade needs to be darker. I wish it was a little bit darker. Just a tad bit darker and buildable. This one should have been this one and then, the, you know, we should have had a little bit one of a darker one. Now, that, now some would say, well, that's almost like what the Exaggerize is and kind of, but not really. The Exaggerize has this shimmer shade on top and this matte shade on the bottom. And having these two matte shades, now don't get me wrong, this, this light pink is very pretty. And I think for those of you out there that kind of just like that really light eyeshadow look, then you're gonna be fine with this palette. You're actually probably gonna love it. But for somebody like me that likes my outer corner to be just a little bit darker and kind of give that dimension to the eye, I feel like that's what this palette is missing. It's almost like it's missing pigmentation. And I've heard so many people say that this is one of their favorites from Charlotte Tilbury. And I would say this peach shade right here, this glitter topper that I have on my lid right now, is one of my favorite shades from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade. And I love the way it looks on the eye. But I wouldn't say this is my favorite palette. I would say this is designed for that right person. If you're somebody that likes to just create a look using one palette, this might not be the palette for you if you do like to add dimension to the outer corner like I do. Now, will I use this palette? Yes, because I actually really like the shades in here, but I will definitely pull shades from this palette or I will pull shades from you know, the Stars in the Ice palette, or I will pull shades from other palettes that I have in my collection that are may not, that may not be Charlotte Tilbury, because I feel like I, that is what I'm missing in this palette. I need that dimension. I need that depth within this palette, and I don't feel like I get it with this because I feel like it's just such a light pigmented palette, but for those of you out there that like that light pigmentation, I think you'll love this, and don't get me wrong, I am loving the way my eyeshadow looks right now. It looks very soft and very romantic, very Valentine's Day-ish, and I love that about this palette. I really do. But I really had to work hard to build up the dimension within the shade. And what's different about this one than the Exaggerize is that, like I said in the beginning, this shade right here really builds on top of itself and really builds depth. And I didn't feel like I got that with this one. I felt like... This one I had to go in like five times on the outer corner just to give me a little bit of depth out there. And so with that said, this is probably not my favorite from the Charlotte Tilbury line, but I do really, really love the shades in here. There's good and bad in this palette. And because I'm coming from a reviewing perspective, I like to point out 
as much as I possibly can. So if I was just a consumer buying this, I'd be like, okay, I like it. I'm not very happy with the fact that I have to grab from a different from another palette to add dimension on the outer corner, but I'm totally okay with it. But from a reviewing perspective, I'm gonna be much more critical because I want you guys to know exactly how I feel about this palette and what I feel like it's missing because it's so expensive. It's a $53 palette for four shadows. So am I gonna be very critical of it? Absolutely, freaking lutely because you know, I want to give you guys the best review I possibly can and give you the negatives along with the positives. So from a reviewing perspective, this is my opinion. I need that pigmentation and I don't get it from this palette. But will I be using it? Uh, yeah, because even though I don't have that dimension, I can pull that from other palettes and I'm totally fine with doing that. But I freaking love that peach shade on my eye. Right now, that is one of the prettiest eyelid peach shades I've had. And you guys know I love peach. I love peach on my skin tone, especially in the summer. Oh, I love it. So this is probably one of the prettier shades that I've seen in this peachy tone, especially in a shimmer and a glitter top type shadow. So. I freaking love that shade. So that's my opinion on this palette and I hope that that review was very helpful for you. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for all the love that you guys show me and this channel. It truly means the world to me and I hope you guys have a wonderful day filled with love and happiness. I will see you guys right back here tomorrow at 11 a.m. and I love you guys so much. Bye. So. It just wasn't gonna kind of. Can I speak today? I don't think I can. It's like not happening right now. It's just not happening. So there's those good. There's goods and there's a good. There's. A